If you don't know to look out for it, there's a good chance you could miss Harvest Hills Farm as you drive along Ely Road in Worcester. It's tucked away behind another farm, off a lawn driveway until you reach a house and a red barn. But once you're at the end of that driveway, you won't miss the sounds of quacking ducks, twinkling bells, and rustling hay. Inside the barn, you'll find Deb Gray's babies. Those are her words, not mine. And they're her family of ducks, chickens, and goats. The goats are Deb's pride and joy. They flock to the edge of their pen, greeting her when she enters the barn. They're surprisingly quiet, except for the sound of a few bells attached to some of their collars. Deb began raising goats over 20 years ago, when her daughters were kids in 4-H. One goat grew to two or three, which eventually grew to the two dozen or so she has now. So, anyway, you know, goats have always intrigued me. I love the personality. Um, I love the, the fact that they're an easy animal to work with. The goats are curious. Some of them are simply seeking head scratches, while others are determined to taste my microphone cord. And they use their mouth to uh, investigate things. They get a reputation for eating everything. <laughs> But she's curious. She wants to nibble it, at which she will pull at it. Deb thinks goats get an unfair reputation. Sure, they're mischievous and sometimes escape from their enclosure, but Deb loves their social nature. We do get very attached. Yes, and very bossy. <laughs> Deb milks the goats twice a day with a machine, though the babies are bottle-fed. The more goats she's acquired, the more milk they produce, which is how her skincare product business started. She says goat milk is full of benefits for the skin because of a vitamin called retinol. The retinol is in goat milk. It's a vitamin A and it's naturally there. I don't have to make it unnaturally and then add it because it's, it's there. Um, it, it also sloughs off the dead skin cells. She's even had customers tell her the soap has helped relieve some of their acne and eczema. It helps a lot of people. And when I get people coming up and saying, oh my gosh, you know, I never thought my skin could look like this. That's very rewarding to me. That, that makes me very happy. Deb started making soap in her kitchen with cake pans. She toyed with a recipe until she got the results she wanted and eventually hired an assistant to help. The soap making operation remains in Deb's kitchen and she converted a spare bedroom into storage and packaging space where pantry and bakery racks hold the finished products. That's liquidy there right now. You could, this is a lot, a lot warmer and then it'll firm all up. Then we pop it out of there with the papers and then we take it all back to the back. Deb's soap sales soon grew to include more skincare products, such as lotions, eye creams, and dog shampoo. Everything's all natural and free of fake fragrances. She even uses her sunscreen on her goats. In the springtime, when their udders are full and they're laying out in the catcher, they'll get sunburned udders. So I'll use the sunscreen on them for that, too. Managing a skincare business has had its challenges for Deb, who sells her products online and at local stores and farmers markets. But she loves helping people discover the benefits of goat's milk almost as much as she loves the goats themselves. They're my happy place. You know, they're peaceful. I used to drive the school bus for a long time, and that was probably a pretty stressful job. And uh, I would come home and come out to my barn. <laughs> happy faces. <laughs> yes, peaceful, happy faces. That peaceful part is what's kept Deb caring for and breeding goats all these years. For her, being in the company of her goats makes all the sense in the world. Stephanie Metzger Lawrence, Idea Stream Public Media. Want to work with us to tell your own story? Visit ideastream.org/soundofus and click the Get in Touch link.